This is He Knows Everything, bringing you that heat and fire. We keeping a foot on the what? Mm, oh, Neeks. We keeping a foot on the what? Mm, oh, Neeks. And uh, like the Tibetan mass shift that I am, man. Like the Siberian tiger that I am. I'm applying what? Unlimited pressure. Because pressure does what? Eat versus pipes. Let's talk about it, man. When we sit here and we look at Paul George, Paul George just had a good, great game. He dropped 41 points. He did this shit in 30 fucking minutes. He erupted. Okay. whoop de fucking do. Let me say it again. whoop de fucking do. We know Paul George does these types of things. We know that Paul George is the type of individual that will always showcase himself as someone who's going to deliver in bleachers moment when it really doesn't fucking matter. You're still down three fucking two. Can you crawl your rabbit ass up out of that hole? Let me say it again. You're still down 3-2. Can you crawl your rabbit ass up out of that hole? Do we believe in Paul George? I don't fucking believe in him. He's way off P. And I can't believe I'm saying this because I used to eat their Merc cats against it because Paul George used to know his place, know his role, and operate in a motherfucker. And to be honest with you, he does know his role. He knows his place, and he's operating in a motherfucker. But it's the fact that Scotty Pippen and all this number two shit, so everybody's getting in, including Paul George. Even though Paul George ain't do shit, Paul George still fucking getting it because all of these wayward motherfuckers that's propping him up as a shining beacon when really he's a shining identity of a false fucking idol where was that same energy for Kawhi Leonard keep that same energy dog let me say it again keep that same energy dog where was that same energy for Kawhi Leonard why didn't they talk about that when it was associated with Kawhi Leonard why all of a sudden they acting brand fucking new why are they acting as if when it's all said and done that Kawhi Leonard was basically a guy that didn't do heavyweight lifting, heavyweight lifting the notion. A guy that didn't basically prop up and bring over L.A. R. Way over to the fucking top. If it wasn't for Kawhi Leonard, L.A. R. Way wouldn't be in the positions that they're in. Let me say it again. If it wasn't for Kawhi Leonard, L.A. R. Way wouldn't be in the positions that they're in. So now we're going to penalize a basketball player for having injuries that could be debilitating, injuries that could be career ending, injuries that basically are what we call bone on fucking bone knee intrusion do you guys even know basketball a lot of casuals are fucking running their mouths getting on Kawhi Leonard this is why Kawhi Leonard leaves basketball teams it's for shit like this he did it with the San Antonio Spurs he did it with the Toronto Raptors and he's damn sure gonna do it with LAR way because you guys don't appreciate a prophet is not honored in his own home and those whom they've rejected became the chief cornerstone Paul George is stepping up as of late. Whoop de fucking do. Where was all of this heavyweight lifting when it was needed in each and every fucking round? He couldn't even be a bona fide, dedicated, verified, certified, authorized, and calculated Scotty fucking Pippen. He couldn't even be that. Authentic and consistent. He was giving you John Stark's inconsistency and lack of the fullness thereof he was giving you J.R. Smith inconsistency and the lack of the fullness thereof this is what he was giving you at his truest and his most properest levels and now y'all holding him up as a shining beacon a shining identity when really we know he's a false fucking idol it's a things that make you say hmm it's a things that make you say, mm. but in its most cold-hearted, unadulterated, and cutthroat through telefashion, it speaks an indictment as you guys, NBA fans, that just don't fucking know the game of basketball. Because when you know the game of basketball, you know fucking better. Let me say it again. When you know the game of basketball, you know fucking better. You know that Kawhi Leonard had to have many Maximus Decidus moments. It's not what you do. What you do in this life. It echoes into eternity. It's not what you do now. It's what you do for fucking eternity. And Kawhi Leonard, last time I checked, had to be Maximus Decidus. He had to basically engineer greatness personification. And to sit here and to say Paul George is on Kawhi Leonard's level, it's a things that make you say, hmm. It's a things that make you say, I'm doing the video right now. I was just talking about these beta cut mills pure fucking beta supremes and mama's boy pure fucking beta supreme iterations and look at them they want to drop it because they are number twos in their lives 
Number twos are always thinking they're number ones, but at their truest and their most properest levels, they are really fucking number twos. To say that Paul George is on Kawhi Leonard's level, where's the proof in the fucking pudding? Where's the two finals MVPs on two different teams? With a Tim Duncan playing, with a Tony Kukoc, I mean, with a Tony Parker playing. I'm saying Tony Kukoc, you know, I'm still thinking of fucking Scottie Pippen. With a Manu Ginobili playing, these are all 50 greatest players of all time. All guys that really should be booted up all over Scottie fucking Pippen. And Kawhi Leonard locked down LeBron James. The guys that you said was the greatest of all time when we we love reposted and know that he is the greatest of all fucking trolls at his la truest and his most la properest la levels. The same Kawhi Leonard that has limited Kevin Durant and made Kevin Durant cry in one of those years of Oklahoma City Thunder. They played against him in the third round. Go look at the defense he played on Kevin Durant. I can't remember that calendar year. Lewis Sports Network, help me out on that calendar fucking year. I just know it in my head. I know that 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 actuality fucking happened. Go ahead, he knows. This is the same Kawhi Leonard that took a Toronto Raptors team that win a title and won in every fucking 100 years and showcased to them that they could be winners. Yeah, once every fucking century, once once every centennium, but they get a fucking title with a Kawhi Leonard who was layawaying their rabbit ass because he wanted to be with the Los Angeles Clippers. Y'all gonna sit here and say Paul George, who failed with the Indiana Pacers, who failed against Donovan Mitchell, a guy that was a new up-and-comer in the NBA, and who has nutted it up in this series. See, they don't talk about when he's nutting it up. Because that last game, he nutted that shit the fuck up. And where were these way-off P's, pandemic P fanboys? They want to stop the presses and pump the bricks on the announcers. Go sit down somewhere and what? Higgity fucking hush. They want higgity fucking hush that. They want nowhere to be fucking found. And now they want to run their rabbit ass mouth. They are down 2-3. Until Paul George shows that he can win this series, then come fucking talk to me then. Until then, again, stop the presses and pump the bricks on the announcers. Go sit down somewhere and what? Higgity fucking hush. When it's all said and done, Paul George has a lot to fucking prove. A lot to fucking prove. And he hasn't begun to prove shit. You know the only thing that Paul George proved? That he is a consistency of failure. That when the going gets tough, you can expect him to be a way off peak. That when the going gets tough, you can expect him to be a pandemic peak. When the going gets tough, you can, effect, you can expect him to be a failure fucking P. PG-13, that is. Because this motherfucker has not grown up to adulthood. He has not grown up to be basically what we would say an adult. He has not grown up to have the identity and the responsibility of being a fucking adult. Because when it's all said and done, he is what the fuck he is. A way off P and a pandemic P. Holla at me when Paul George fails. Because... I don't expect nothing more than failure from fucking Robbins. Robbins have to prove me fucking wrong. And last time I checked, I'm undefeated against fucking Robbins. Let me say it again. I don't expect nothing but failure from fucking Robbins. Because Robbins have to prove me wrong. And last time I checked, Robbins do nothing but fucking fail. Paul George will fucking fail. He ain't winning this fucking series. Not against the way the Phoenix Suns are ramelanging the situation. This shit is not going to to happen and if you as basketball fans are so brain full of mush and brainwashed dodo heads to the point to the identity to the certification to the validation to the authorization and to what we would say the identification of the Go fact ahead. that you don't understand that this guy has failed back to back with the indiana pacers he has failed against donovan mitchell and he will continue to fail because he failed last year when he didn't fucking show up then what were you watching all of this time as basketball fans? See, this is an indictment on you guys. Because we get it. You guys are Robins in your life. You're number twos in your life. But it makes me think of Nelly. Ah, damn, number one. No matter if you like it, sit back and write. Eh, ah, damn, number one. Eh, 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 eh. What does it take to be number one? Two is not a winner. Three, nobody remembers. What does it take to be? Eh, eh, eh. You heard the premise of the fucking song? 
two is not a winner. Three fucking nobody remembers. Ah, am number one. That's what it's all about. Being fucking number one. Don't nobody give a fuck about no damn number two. And they damn sure don't give a fuck about number three. When it's all said and done, Paul George will fail. I expect him to fail because that's all he fucking knows. Failure. Failure is his first. Failure is his middle. And failure is his last fucking name. Let me say it again. Failure is his first. Failure is his middle. And failure is his last fucking name. I'm not impressed. No, no, let me say it in that language. I'm not impressed. I'm going to say it in a Loma language. I'm not fucking impressed. Because you winning in garbage time. You getting points when it doesn't fucking matter. Now tie this bitch up. Make it 3-3. And then close them out. And then I'll give you fucking credit. But do I think you can do that? Do I believe that you can do that? Without a Kawhi Leonard? No. It's a thing that make you say, hmm. It's a things that make you say, mm, but in its most cold-hearted, unadulterated, and cut through two telefashion, it showcases to you guys that once a mama's boy pure fucking beta supreme, always a mama's boy pure fucking beta supreme. That once beta males, always fucking beta males. That once pure fucking beta supremes, always pure fucking beta supremes. And once pure beta cuck males, always pure beta cuck males. That's the cold-hearted. That's the unadulterated. That's the cut. I keep the foot on the whoop. Oh, X. I keep the foot on the whoop. Oh, X. This is he knows everything. Check it out.